Welcome to the deep dive. Today, um, we're heading over to Nigeria, going to dive into the world of digital marketing. Okay. Specifically, we're going to be looking at this platform called Seven Hubent Tech and how they're changing things up for small businesses over there. Right. So, you know, you might be thinking another digital marketing platform. What's the big deal? Yeah. But this one's really interesting because they're not really into all the like fancy algorithms and those expensive ad campaigns. Instead, get this. They're all about WhatsApp groups. Interesting. Yeah. So using WhatsApp sounds a little strange at first, right? Yeah. How does that even work? Yeah. But when you think about how important WhatsApp already is in Nigeria, I mean, it's like the main way people communicate over there. It starts to make a bit more sense. Yeah, true, true. So what's your take on this whole approach? Honestly, I think it's pretty genius. Like, think about it. In Nigeria, WhatsApp isn't just for, you know, texting your friends. People use it for everything. You can buy and sell stuff, catch up on news, even join like community groups. Mm -hmm. Seven Hupin Tech is really smart to tap into this whole digital world that's already so lively. They're turning it into this powerful tool for businesses. So instead of trying to stand out on those busy social media feeds, they're going where the people already are. Exactly. Exactly. Meeting people where they are. And in Nigeria, that's often in a WhatsApp group. Right, right. OK, so let's get into the specifics of Seven Human Tech. We know they're all about offering free advertising for businesses in Nigeria, especially through these WhatsApp groups. Right. But what makes them different from, say, just joining any random WhatsApp group? It's all about being organized and focused. They create these specific WhatsApp groups for different industries. It's kind of like a, um, a virtual marketplace. But instead of scrolling forever through tons of random stuff, you've got a dedicated space for, say, like handmade jewelry. Right. Or locally sourced food. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of the story we came across about Precious in our research. Oh, yeah, yeah. She makes that, um, she makes really beautiful beaded jewelry. Mm -hmm. But she was struggling to get those sales going through the usual online channels. Yeah, it's tough out there. Yeah, and that's where Seven Hube and Tech really helped. She joined one of their groups specifically for, like, Nigerian artisans and craftspeople, and suddenly she's part of this community that actually understands and appreciates her work. Right, they get it. And it's a smaller group, more focused, so there's a higher chance that her ideal customer is right there in that group, like a ready-made audience. Exactly. And for Precious, that meant more people saw her work, her sales went up, and she actually had the chance to grow her business without spending any money on advertising. Wow. It's a perfect example of how Seven Human Tech is really leveling the playing field for these businesses. That's incredible. They've really tapped into something special there. But what is it about Seven Human Tech that really clicks with Nigerian businesses? What makes them choose this platform over others? I think it comes down to a few things. A big one is trust. Nigerians have unfortunately seen their fair share of online scams and you know, those promises that never actually happen. Right. So there's always a bit of healthy skepticism when a new platform pops up. Yeah, that makes sense. Trust is everything, especially when we're talking about your business and livelihood. Exactly. You got to protect that. And Seven Human Tech has built that trust by being really straightforward about how they work. They're completely free, no hidden fees, no catches. And that's not always the case in the online world. So they've really established themselves as a reliable and trustworthy option. Right. It's so important. And, you know, besides being free, Seven Heaven Tech has really cleverly tapped into some of the cultural things that make Nigeria unique. Okay, like what? Well, you know, Nigeria has this huge informal economy. Right, right. Think about, like, street vendors, skilled tradespeople, people doing small-scale farming. There's this whole entrepreneurial spirit there. Right. And it thrives on personal connections and word of mouth. So it's not enough to just have a website or a Facebook page. No, not at all. It's all about those one-on-one -on -one relationships. Yeah, I see what you mean. And that's where these WhatsApp groups really shine. They're not just, you know, places to put ads. They become these little communities where businesses can connect with their potential customers, like on a personal level. Mm -hmm. They're answering questions directly, offering suggestions tailored to you, even negotiating prices all in real time. Wow, that's fascinating. It's amazing how they've taken something as simple as WhatsApp, you know, something we use for just chatting, and turned it into this dynamic business tool. Totally. It just shows how innovative people can be in emerging markets. They're not afraid yeah. to try new things, you know, find creative ways to use what's already out there. Right. They adapt. Okay, so we've talked about trust and how they fit into the culture, but there's got to be more to it, right? Yeah. How does Seven Human Tech actually make sure that businesses see results. 
Joining a WhatsApp group is one thing. Right. But how do they actually reach the right people with their message? That's where their team's expertise is so key. Remember, these aren't just random groups they've thrown together. They're very carefully selecting who's in each group so that it's focused and has the right audience. And on top of that, they're using the things that make WhatsApp itself so effective. Oh, in what way? Well, think about what kind of content works well on WhatsApp. It's visual. It's instant. It often has voice notes, even those short videos. Oh, right. Yeah. Seven Human Tech encourages these businesses to use all of that. So instead of just, you know, typing out an ad, they can show off their products with good photos, share what customers are saying with voice notes, even give a little behind the scenes look with a quick video. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it really is. So it's about making the most of that immediate personal feel that WhatsApp is known for. Exactly. And these groups are so focused on particular interests or industries that businesses know they're reaching the right people. They're not just sending their message out into the void, hoping for the best. They're having targeted conversations with potential customers who've already shown they're interested. Man, this makes me want to join a WhatsApp group or two myself. Right. But seriously, it sounds like the business owners have to be very hands-on. Yeah. They can't just join and sit back. They have to be proactive, engage with the group, follow up on any leads. Absolutely. Huh. Seven Human Tech gives them the platform and the guidance but ultimately, it's up to the businesses to put in the work. It's not some magic solution. You know, they've got to have a plan and put in the effort. Yeah, just like any other form of marketing, really. But it seems like Seven Even Tech is doing a great job of setting these businesses up for success. And from what we've heard about Precious and these other success stories, it's really paying off. It really is. And it raises another interesting question. Can this work in other parts of the world where people use WhatsApp a lot? It makes you think. Right. Like, could Seven Huben Tech expand beyond Nigeria? Or are other entrepreneurs out there seeing this and thinking, hey, we could do this somewhere else? Totally. What they've tapped into isn't limited to Nigeria. It's about understanding how powerful community and trust are and using technology in a way that feels natural and authentic, you know, really speaks to the local market. Yeah, it's like they found the secret sauce for digital marketing that feels real, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not just algorithms and data, but actual human connection. Exactly. And that's something that gets lost a lot, you know, mm -hmm. especially for small businesses that don't have tons of money to throw around. Right. Seven Human Tech is reminding everyone that sometimes the best way to reach people is to just be human. Makes you think about WhatsApp in a whole new way. We think of it as, you know, texting and sharing pictures with friends. Right. But Seven Human Tech has made it into something much bigger. It just goes to show that the best ideas often come from unexpected places. Yeah. This isn't coming from Silicon Valley or, you know, some big tech company. It's coming from a real understanding of what a specific community needs and how to meet those needs. And they're doing it with tools that everyone's already using every day. Exactly. You don't have to download a new app or figure out some complicated system. Right. Just hop into a WhatsApp group and start connecting. It's brilliant when you think about it. This has been so eye-opening. I feel like we've only just scratched the surface of what 7 Ubin Tech is doing. Yeah. And what it could mean for the future of digital marketing, really. Oh, for sure. There's so much more to dig into, you mm. know, how they're handling growing the platform, how they're measuring success beyond just the sales numbers, whether this whole model can be replicated in other markets that share some of these cultural factors. Yay. It's fascinating stuff. So much to think about. For our listeners, if you were going to keep diving deeper into this, what questions would you be asking? What about 7 Huben Tech would you want to investigate further? Yeah, what are you curious about? We'd love to hear your thoughts. This is a conversation that definitely doesn't end here, and we can't wait to see where it goes next. Until then... Happy diving!